my dear students i would like to discuss a previous year question today okay so here there is a question previous year question of je mains i'll try to explain the shortcut method for this you can just see that in the question it is said that there are two masses m1 and m2 okay and both the masses are having same both are same masses it is given in the question previously there are two masses which are same but it is said that if one third of the mass what is that if one third of the mass is transferred here what happens to the force okay so in the first case if you know that force is directly proportional to m square force is directly proportional to m square but one third is transferred to that side then what happens so i'll teach you a shortcut method for this not only one third if it is one fifth one seventh or one eighth whatever it may be you can uh, solve by using this shortcut here so how i have created this shortcut i'll tell you that one also today i'll tell you how to uh, create a shortcut also now for example these are the masses if 1 by nth is transferred to that side if 1 by nth of the mass is transferred to that side in general i am going to consider here now so what is this going to be m minus m by n it becomes if it is transferred and this is going to become m plus m by n okay and you know force is directly proportional to product of the masses means a minus b into a plus b is going to become a square minus b square you know about that so f is directly proportional to a square minus b square that is m square by n square so force is directly proportional to m square if i common out what is left 1 by 1 minus n square is it so here therefore f is equal to you know uh, f is directly proportional to m square previously f1 is directly proportional to m square and now it is let us take it as f2 which is equal to f1 into this if you take lcm it is going to become n square minus 1 by n square okay so this is going to be your shortcut formula what i mean to say is this is going to become your shortcut formula that f2 will become f1 times into n square minus 1 by n square by using this shortcut you can solve any problem 1/3 is transferred 1/4 is transferred or 1/5 is transferred a very simple shortcut method this is the shortcut method here now i am going to solve this problem you can write this as here you can uh, write this f2 is equal to f1 uh, what is n here 1/3 so n value is going to be 3 here so we can write now Uh, 3 square minus 1 by 3 square. You got an answer. That is, f2 is equal to f. Uh, 3 square minus 1 is nothing but uh, 9 minus 1. That is, 8 by 9 is going to your answer. So, is that previously? This is going to be third option. Hope you have enjoyed. You can see the textbook method also, which is given here. Hope you have enjoyed this shortcut. Thank you very much.